Okay, welcome to our little hydroponic room. Uh, we've got three different systems going here. We have a drip system, we have an EVB inflow system, and we have an aeroponic system. Uh, goal is to find out which one is best suited for us and also uh, collect some data and see uh, you know, how they all perform. Um, we've got a uh, extractor fan here collected to two of the uh, lights. Uh, the third light is not connected uh, because, uh, well, uh, basically it doesn't produce that much heat since it's on a light mover, so there's no real harm to the plant. Uh, we may want to connect it to an um, extractor fan later on to just to get the, the heat out of the room. Um, put some mylar uh, all around the room, about seven feet high, which is probably more than I needed. Um, but in any case, um, I've uh, hooked up a, uh, a homemade, uh, well, not really homemade, but a little um, water filtration system here uh, to a uh, recycle bin, which I made a little hole here, and I put a uh, float valve. And I have a um, submersible pump in here that I plug to a half-inch hose to fill my uh, several different hydroponic systems. I just, uh, when it's time to empty, I just put the pump in it and I pump it out. I made a hole in the wall, which leads to another room here that has the sink. And this is the incoming from the reverse osmosis, which feeds into our recycle bin to get some water. We have several fans in here. We have one here. I have a smaller one here at the bottom. Um, and I also have a, an oscillating fan here to produce enough, um, enough air in the room. And I've tied everything up to the ceiling, hoping that uh, nothing will fall down on our head. This is a little thing that I did for the fan. I used those brackets and I found a piece of plywood that was cut exactly to the size of those ceiling tiles. I made a round hole, hooked up the fan to it. And that seemed to work pretty well. Same thing with the light mover. Uh, I screwed the, uh, through this uh, drop ceiling and I have a piece of wood on the other side which I screwed into. Uh, so it actually supports on three different tiles plus the, uh, the railing. And then my lights are hooked up again the same way. And this is a very quick tour, and this is my wife trying to restore her spider plants. Uh, so that was a very quick tour of our little hydroponic room. As you can see here, we've had a little issues with the AC dripping, condensating, and so we've lost a few towels. And the result of that, I had to be creative and bring in AC from the next room to put in a uh, another vent here so that I have more cool into the room. And that's it for now.